Hi everyone, I'm going to show you how you can make the shape of a mushroom. We use the cube and we press S to shrink it. Something like this. Okay, now we switch to edit mode. And we use the face selection tool to select the top face. We press delete. Press delete when your cursor is on the screen of course. And we use only faces. Now we switch to the edge selection tool where we click on it and we hold down the shift and alt button to select everything. Now, we enlarge it and we press S to shrink it. You may shrink it much, otherwise you'll get your conical shape of your mushroom. We press E in Z direction, move it up a little bit. Okay, now we want to break open, so we press E, S, and S there, like that, press the left mouse key, and we bring it down, like that, press S a little more, because the shape is not big enough, okay, when we've done that, okay, we press E, Z, and we bring it up, something like that, and left mouse click and then press S again to bring it open like this we press E Z again approximately the same distance left mouse key click click press S to bring it down like that and now we scroll down a little bit we extrude again in Z direction like that we press s left mouse key of course press s to bring it to the center not over the center to the center and we press f to close it now the only thing necessary to do is go to the modifier add modifier and use subdivision surface where we say in view we press 5 and also in rendering 5 now you see your practical view of a mushroom, so we had to add a few extra things. First of all, control R over here, until you see that purple line, click on it and bring it down. Do the same on top, control R. And we have to bring it somewhere over here. And now you can shape whatever you want, if you want more radius or less radius. I like mine like this. Now, what we can do is we're going to select that one and hold down the Shift Alt button, and we're going to press S so we directly see what the shape would like. If, if you want your mushroom more looking like this shape or less looking like this shape, and you want it more round like that, you can add whatever you want. I like mine more like this. Okay, and I want the other one a little more round underneath, so we're going to select that one. Hold down the Alt button. Uh, sorry, hold down the Alt and the Shift button. Select that one, and we're going to do the same. So we press S. You see, you can make it much larger. You make it conically or less around and more around, like that. Okay, so now you have your basic form. The only thing that we can do is select with face selection that and you can your mushroom grow in that direction or this direction or you press S and you make it less flattened more flattened you can do whatever you want with it I want it might be looking more like this okay so now I'm going to give it a basic color, which is light yellow, like this, assigned to it. This is my basic form. Now the only thing necessary we have to do is position the camera and the lights. So click on the camera, sorry, switch to object mode, click on the camera lock camera view press n when your cursor is at the screen position 
you measure where you want it like this press cursor on the screen press zero now we the lightning we're going to position the lightning somewhere over here shift D somewhere over there shift D and one underneath like this and the only thing necessary is a plane so we're going to add mesh plane let me position it let's say on the, on the back of the mushroom a bit like that we're going to angle it and we're going to enlarge it by pressing S to the other side would be good also okay are we going to give that a color green I forgot one thing like that underneath I don't want any shadows so we scroll down shadow gone measure the same Now we have a look. Select rendering. Pay attention that your format is correctly positioned in JPEG and render everything. And here you have your basic form. Oh, the lightning is not that good. Moment. It's because my plane is not correctly in good positions. So let's say rotate it a little more. It should be approximately like that. Approximately perpendicular to the camera view. And then it looks more like this. So if you like what you see, please subscribe to my channel. And thank you for watching. If you want to color it red on top, I can show you that also. This is a, a bit more difficult because you have to add a few extra things for that. So if you want to change that, you have to s select, sorry, select your mushroom, go to edit mode, and let me go to uh, colors, add an extra color, which is red. Select the red. Right like this and now you have to select every face which should be red let's say this 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 and these are a little round things also it could be that underneath you have to add the same thing but we're gonna have a look press red say assign i've got one like this say sign red and if that underneath should be red also you can select it and that sorry say red again if this is too much now if you render in now you will see that you have your measure of red so if you like what you see, please subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching. And just a little add-on for some guys who want the white dots at the measure room. So add UV sphere, press S, should shrink it down till you have a little ball. and position it on the measure sorry my computer is a little slow today
okay we have, we have one over there I want to give it a white color so let's say add white I'm going to like love it like this okay we're going to use the command shift D to copy one and position another one so long I really don't know what's going on for the moment I know it is taking a backup that's the problem So you can go on like this and I'm going to sign that and if you render it you will see you get this result. It takes some more time of course. So I come back when it is done. What the problem with that is that I did it in the edit mode. I can that's the problem when you position that it is very difficult to change it afterwards so it's probably better that you use the same technique press s shrink it like it is position it on the outside of your module where you want it like that give it a white color put off the shadow press shift D to position it again and position it somewhere else it goes much quicker do the same shift D and so on I'm going to just do it a little bit on the outside and you see what the result could be If you have some time, you can do it much more nicer than I do now. And the result is looking rather nice, I think. So this is the result. I added a few extras so you can see uh, the result. But it's approximately the same. So you can add as many as you want. Thank you.